What's up guys? We are at Frankie's Free Range Meat. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an update. We are still in our first facility. Uh, we're actually looking at properties. We're looking at real estate at the moment. Uh, trying to relocate, upgrade the facility a bit. It's actually, actually Monday, Veterans Day. Most people are off today, uh, but we are filling orders for last week. Uh, we did about 70 orders here. You know, everything stacked up nice. Uh, we're still working on the branding. Hopefully in two, three months, everything's gonna have like really nice, you know, white boxes, logo on the front, all that stuff. But we are filling every single order on a weekly basis. You know, if you order Friday, you will get it shipped out next Monday. It's gonna arrive in two or three days. No one's waiting more than, you know, four to five days for their orders. Uh, but what we wanna do is let you guys know what's going on for the future of Frankie's Your Age Meat. I'm sure most of you guys know Adam from the past few videos. Both of us have been killing ourselves in one way or another. Me not sleeping, filming videos every day, coming down to the kitchen a couple times a week. Adam might as well bring his bed down here and live here uh, at this point. But uh, I guess I guess we could just talk about what's going on lately. Uh, we're, we're finally fully up and running. If you, if you order on a Friday, your product's going out Monday, Tuesday. And, um, Orders are not, orders are being fulfilled properly. Mm -hmm. we, we've worked out all the kinks. 100% mm -hmm. up and running. We, you know, we've spoken in the past about raw dairy, about eggs, about like things like pate. Uh, we're looking at getting more organs. Like I know a lot of you guys like glands. Uh, that looks like it's gonna happen soon. So we're trying to do as many of these products as soon as possible. But we do wanna say, you know, logistically speaking, the dairy isn't happening, definitely not happening, you know, this year, early next year. We don't know, uh, you know, the more support we get, you know, the better things go, the more we're able to do certain things. But at this point where we already have, you know, as many products as other companies are offering, even more, uh, we're just really looking to expand, you know, our beef selection, what cuts we're offering, the types of organs we're offering. Uh, as many of you know, we've offered fresh beef boxes on a monthly basis. We're looking to be a little bit more consistent with that, you know, custom orders. We're looking to do freshly ground beef. You know, we're getting in uh, bacon possibly next, sometime next year. We're looking to do sausages. Really just every single thing that any sort of meat seller is going to do. Uh, we really do want to have the, what the corn free and the soy free eggs sometime middle late next year that's definitely panning out that's a big one we're gonna have to basically open four or five six additional businesses in order to get the quality that we want at the price we want um, and it takes time to build all those structures yeah including our our non-perishable ideas i uh, just i mean adam came up with the meat granola and he, he has another genius idea that we're probably going to do in a little while it's coming yeah what well, stuff's coming every single one of these ventures is you know requires a lot of money up front and you know we haven't taken any investors we haven't even put any money down ourselves yet you know the new facility we're getting the facility we're going to move into hopefully in a month or two is going to be our first stepping stone at at really expanding uh, that being said you know the meat business hopefully keeps things rolling grow 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 uh, early next year we can start expanding on the non-perishable stuff uh, maybe even shipping to Europe again, getting you guys those products. Uh, towards the middle of next year, uh, at the latest, it's safe to say, you know, our full product line will definitely be refined. Uh, I mean, it's, that's, that's really where things are going to start taking off. The point is right now, we're providing super high quality product at an affordable price. Orders are being fulfilled mm -hmm. and we just want to expand from there. <laughs> When we looked at, you know, what the products Butcher Box is selling, uh, I mean, we don't have to mention every single meat company, but we, we, met, we ordered meat from every popular online company and, you know, we've been disappointed with the amount you're getting for the price. That's a big one. Uh, the quality of the product just isn't there. And there's a lack of integrity and no, no real vision behind what these people are doing. When you order from Frank History and Meat, when you order from our website, you can have confidence that every single product you're buying is something that was raised in a natural way that is conducive to being healthy for you. Uh, you know, I mean, just since we mentioned Butcher Box, you know, the pork they sell is just regular pork. They say it's Berkshire breed, but reality is it's the same corn, same soy getting fed to those animals. They say they have organic chicken, same corn, same soy getting fed to those chickens. You know, their grass-fed beef, very lean, not cut properly. 
we want to make sure that everything we're offering is truly special. You know, no one else has the pork that we're selling. Spanish, Iberico, it's literally red. Uh, you know, we're exploring some other chicken options too, even though we have pasture raised chicken. And, and that other wild game and that stuff, and we're, that's another thing that's down the line because realistically to sell wild game, to sell certain luxury birds you ha or any animal whatsoever, you have to either raise it yourself or be in that region that the animals are native to. Right, but right now we, we have the grass-fed wagon, which mm -hmm. is exceptional. Mm -hmm. And so we do have that, that's currently available, we have it. And no one else has that, mm -hmm. so. Right now we have a very loyal and supportive customer base and we're very excited with our products. All we feel we really need to do at this point is get a new facility, uh, expand our customer base through marketing and, and just get the product out to people. We know our product is superior, it's priced better and no one is willing to do what we're doing basically. You know, it's literally just, it's literally just Adam and myself. It's the, what we've done from a business standpoint is is both crazy and unusual and all of those things, uh, but... No other combination could have no. gotten to where we are. No. It's, uh, of people, yeah. it's one thing to be excited about for sure. Um, we got to we gotta get the merch going, the t-shirts, all that type of stuff, hopefully. And uh, we'll see how things go over the next month or two. I don't, I mean, we, we have the pate kind of ready. Uh, pate is going to be available before Christmas. We were thinking of doing something special for the holidays, whether it's like Thanksgiving turkey or rib roast. Unfortunately, the quality of the turkeys that are even offered from local farms, the stuff we had access to, just wasn't something that we felt, you know, we're giving people something valuable. So hopefully, uh, you know, with the wild game, with the raw dairy, with all of that stuff, you know, when we have our own farm, when we're a bit bigger and have those things up and running, uh, that's something you guys can look forward to. But what we are certainly doing next week is like a sampler box. Uh, so just something really easy. You know, you go on the website, you order it. It's going to have all of our most popular products, all of the most favorable cuts. And you're going to get to try a little bit of everything. And it's, it's great for a gift. Uh, it's great for just introducing anyone to high quality animal products. Outside of that sample box for New Year's and Christmas, guys, definitely keep an eye out. We're going to have an untrimmed Australian Wagyu rib roast. It's gonna be the perfect centerpiece for your dinner. Six pound roast, big nice guys. It's gonna be uh, the be best beef I've ever had, best beef he's ever had uh, by far. Uh, so thank you guys for joining us. Uh, if, if you guys are really, really you know enthusiastic about the grain-free eggs, the raw dairy, all of that stuff, uh, you know may maybe in a few months from now, if, if the demand really is astronomical, and we know a lot of people want it, um, it's just you have to, you know, you have to own the whole farm operation. You have to have people that are willing to be on the farm and run the farm. And unless we had investors specifically for that business idea, or we were already in a family position to do that ourselves, unfortunately, that's the big reason uh, a lot of people don't don't do the dairy right now. We could sell you pastured chickens and birds and eggs and turkeys, but. We could get them right now, but they're not the quality that yeah. you've. Yeah, they're not. They're not a high enough quality. Yeah, we could have got imported finished butter. Or we could have. We could have been selling a lot more products right now, uh, just to kind of meet the market demands. But uh, just the quality wasn't what we wanted it to be. Later this week, guys, keep an eye out. Maybe we'll do a, a different sale as well, outside of the sample box, outside of the rib roast. But thank you guys for joining us. If you could please like the video, subscribe if you haven't, hit that bell icon. And of course, above all, please share the video. Uh, FrankieStrangeMeat.com. Uh, right now, uh, what are we running low on that people might want to grab? Beef belly as a definite. Brains they might want to get their hands on. Uh, beef belly and brains, two big things that you guys, uh, those are running out quick. Thanks again for joining us, guys, and enjoy the rest of your day. That's the favorite part of my video. The, the outro. That's, that's my favorite part, yeah. yeah the outro. <laughs>